you, I see you have many nice things here, Richard. Still stuck up as ever, though, I see. This is for you, Ronnie. Oh, it's lovely. Just what I've always wanted. What is it? It's a pair of glasses. Ah, oh, just what I needed. Why don't you put them on and see how they look? I hope you like them. Wow, I never knew you had so many expensive things here, Richard. Oh, and you're a bear. Oh, uh, well, you're welcome. They're very expensive, you know. I got them from that little shop on the high street. You know, the one with all the expensive porcelain pigs out the front. Extremely well made, you understand. Quite the... Uh, hold on. Yeah. That's not the butcher's? No, it's an antique shop. No wonder why they kept laughing at me when I tried to place a regular order for four Cumberland sausages. Well, it's been an antique shop for donkey years. Well, I say antique shop, they've got quite a few different stands in there, you know, that's where I got the glasses from. They're obviously not just antique, of course, and... Uh, Ronnie, Ro Ronnie, Ronnie... That's my £1,500 Tang Dynasty vase. That is irreplaceable. Put it down slowly. Perhaps I, sh I, I should be going now. Th thanks for the new glasses, Richard. Well, you're quite welcome, Ronnie. Glad you can see things more clearly now. You must pop in again and see me sometime. I will. I must have a look at those imitation royal Worcester plates you have over there. See you. Imitation? Well, hello, Ronnie. What's about new glasses? Oh, thank you. Richard gave them to me, but... Um, who are you? As if you don't know. It's your old friend, Mabel. Is it really you, Mabel? You sure have aged after the last time I saw you. Ronnie, you only saw me yesterday. I may have been around you yesterday, but I didn't actually see you. The last time I actually saw you was many years ago. And now that I see you again, it's plain to see that you're certainly aged quite a bit. Hello, Billy. Hello, Ronnie. Those are nice-looking glasses. Are they new? They certainly are. Richard just gave them to me. I can see everything so clearly now. It's like high definition. That's certainly a good thing, isn't it? Your eyesight has been so bad for f so long, the world must seem brand new to you now. That's true. I tell you what, I just saw Mabel. And she's aged quite a lot since the last time I was able to see her. Oh, I hope you didn't tell her that. She's extremely sensitive about her age. Oh, that's why she seems so upset. What was that? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I was just saying that I'm glad to see you're not as vain as she is. <laughs> Me vain? That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. I'm not one to care about my appearance. You should know that. Then you wouldn't mind me telling you what I've just discovered about you. No. at all. Well, you don't look at all how I always thought you did. You're quite a bit more rugged and um, unsightly. Are you calling me ugly? Not exactly. I'm no fool, Mole. I know when someone's calling me ugly. No, Bill. You don't understand what I mean. Uh, no, what are you doing? Stop. They're uh, very expensive. Hi, Ronnie. Who's there? It's me, Sam. What happened to your glasses, Ronnie? You know you can't see without them. Not that you could see very well with them, either. Don't be cheeky, Sam. I've left them at Richard's. He gave me a new pair that actually worked. So I just left the old ones there. Well, what's happened to the new pair, then? Why aren't you wearing them? Oh, on my way home, I ran into Mabel and told her how she's aged since I was last able to see her. Oh, Ronnie... After that, she stormed off, and I was left wondering why. Well, after that, I met Billy, and he explained why Mabel done that. 
and also that he was in vain like she is, and I asked him if I could tell him how I saw him. Ronnie, you, you didn't? I did. I told him that he wasn't quite so handsome as I had always thought he had been. That's why he snatched the glasses Richard had given me and broke them. Served you right, really. I was just being honest. Even so, I'm glad you didn't see me with those new glasses. Why ever not? No reason. Now, now let's just get you settled inside and I'll go and fetch your old glasses from Richard's. Oh, thank you very much, Sam. And maybe I'll run into Mabel and Billy and be able to smooth things over with them. Oh, that would be great if you could. I really didn't mean to upset them. I was only being honest, like always. You know me, Sam. I say what I think. I know, Ronnie. I know. At least one good thing came out of all this, though. What's that? I finally know Richard is a bear. What, you mean you didn't know? No. I'd always thought he was a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, Billy, I, 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 was, I was hoping to run into you. It's about what Ronnie said. He didn't actually mean it. I don't want to speak to that boy. You, you, you know what he's like. He says what he thinks. He doesn't think. Well, I don't know. If I got an apology for him, I might forgive him. Oh, uh, well, I'm 